Today, the government blamed dietary supplements for sending 23,000 people to the emergency room each year and putting more than 2,000 of them in the hospital. Dr. John LaPook is looking into this. Two years ago, when Chris Herrera was 15, he lost 56 pounds while taking a green tea extract billed as a fat burner. His mom, Lourdes Gonzalez. Him seeing the difference with one pill was doing, that he probably decided to take more on his own without letting me know. But then his eyes turned yellow. Medical tests showed his liver was failing. Doctors blame the green tea extract. Having to hear the doctor tell me every day that Christopher had a 50% chance of dying or not making it, it was hurtful. Herrera recovered. Half of American adults use at least one supplement. So 23,000 emergency visits a year reflects a relatively low complication rate. But since these products don't need FDA approval, the CDC says it's important to monitor their safety. Weight loss and energy products accounted for about 50% of visits in patients 5 to 34. The most typical patients were young adults. The most common symptoms were cardiac, chest pain, palpitations, and elevated heart rate. Dr. Andrew Geller of the CDC is the report's lead author. Some dietary supplements may have benefits, uh, but there are risks. And we encourage patients to tell their physicians that they're taking dietary supplements and which ones. And Scott, patients often don't tell doctors that they're taking supplements because they don't consider them real medications. But supplements can have real interactions with prescription meds. So one idea is to bring all your medicines into the doctor's office, throw them on the table, and one by one go over exactly what you're taking. Dr. John LaPook, thanks, Doc.